All right. So remember how frustrated I was when the Rams break glass in case of emergency option was John Wolford. And then remember how frustrated I was when John Wolford turned down the Rams. Not that I blame him because I mean, he had a chance to stay in Tampa where he's learning the offense or has already learned the offense or go with the Rams where he knows he's not going to be the starter. And they gave up on him last year for, uh, you know, Baker Mayfield. I, I don't blame him there. Um, remember I, I was upset about that or, or at least frustrated. Yeah, I'm frustrated again. Um, look, the Rams signed dresser win today. The 49ers acquired chase young. Um, these two teams are not on the same level right now. Clearly the 49ers who just lost three straight, by the way, a worse losing streak than the Rams have currently had, uh, just decided to go out and get one of the hottest names on the market. Um, long-term option, could be a franchise piece for them came from Ohio state. So he's got great rapport with Nick Bosa. And then the Rams went out and got uh dresser win who to be fair, he completed three of five passes for 21 yards in the Rams preseason finale. He knows the offense somewhat. Um, he threw for 2,928 yards, 18 touchdowns at UT Martin. Um, I mean, he has the fifth most passing yards, fifth most touchdown passes and fourth most completions in team history. That's not FBS, just team. Look, I'm not going to hate on dresser win. Okay. I have nothing personally against dresser win. I just have an issue with the Rams here. The reason being is look, say what you will. Okay. John Wolford was their best option. According to them. This team is unserious right now. If Stafford goes down, it's literally like I said in my latest video, uh, not my latest, but video this week or last week, I already forgot, uh, but I basically said they're going to go down with the ship. If Stafford was, were to get shut down, you're going to be watching Brett Rippon or Dresser win quarterbacking this Rams team. I mean, the plan was clear. When the Rams in the fourth round took Stetson Bennett, they looked at him as the backup to Matthew Stafford. Stafford goes down. It's his time. He gets a chance to develop. Obviously, the personal issue came in. He's unable to play. He goes on NFI, the non-football injury slash illness list. And that's that. Okay, you don't have him. The Rams made no corresponding move. Basically, what they did is they determined that the guy who wasn't good enough to make their 53 initially would now be their backup for the foreseeable future. Not keeping in mind anything that happened on the outside, whether a Will Greer was available or anything like that. Any of the preseason standouts? No. And it just goes to show you that the Rams simply put, you could say they might have done their homework. They might have looked at options. But I don't feel, and I don't know if you feel this way, but I certainly don't feel this way. I don't feel like they took this position seriously enough. I don't. This is the worst quarterback room. If Stafford goes down in recent memory. Having Brett Rippon and Dresser win. Two guys that don't have a lot of experience. Brett Rippon has more interceptions than touchdowns with eight and four touchdowns. Um, not a fan. Not a fan of this. This team's three and five. There's about 10 teams alive in the NFC right now. And the Rams are one of those 10. Only seven can make it. That means three are going to miss it. But they have an easier schedule coming up. These are winnable games. The Packers game's winnable. The Cardinals game's winnable. They got games against the Giants. They, I mean, there are winnable games ahead on this schedule. And for whatever reason, the Rams don't find it necessary to go out and, you know, and they didn't. To be fair, they didn't when this happened. Remember when I constantly kept bringing up, hey, by the way, if you put Stetson Bennett on NFI, it means you should probably have a third quarterback come in and have him learn the system. And I kept saying Carson Wentz. I kept saying Colt McCoy. I kept saying somebody, right? Just bring in somebody. Um, I didn't mean quite literally anybody with Dresser Wynn. Now, uh, there's a chance that uh, Dresser Wynn is better than Brett Rippon, okay? There's certainly a chance of that. Um, I just, I don't like this move. I don't like the way the Rams looked at the quarterback position and you can say what you will, Jake, their eyes on 2024, their eyes on 2025. 
So that means all these guys who are putting their bodies on the line. That means an Akello Witherspoon who signed on for a season. That means Daryl Henderson who signed on. That means Kevin Dotson who was traded there. You're just going to waste their seasons. You're going to waste everyone else who's putting their body on the line. I mean, really? So that's what you're going to do? You're okay with that? Just, oh, well, it's 2024. So if Stafford goes down, we're, we're fine with just ripping. See, I don't like it. I don't like it. Um, I feel as though this team can make the playoffs, obviously, with Stafford's health permitted. Um, but I just I feel like right now this team just isn't trying to truly win games right now, uh, at least in the front office perspective, it, because this is an unserious football move. You can say he's got familiarity. All he is is just not Bryce Perkins. Because for the love of God, why bring back Bryce Perkins? You've scapegoated him, essentially. So he goes up against the reigning Super Bowl champions before they became the Super Bowl champions. He goes up against the reigning Super Bowl champions with nothing to throw to, nothing to protect him with, and you're done with him like that? Not a fan. Not a fan of it. There were better options... Um, I thought the Vikings did a nice job going out, getting a low risk trade uh, for Josh Dobbs. Wouldn't have minded if the Rams did something like that. Definitely would have preferred Carson Wentz, but there are other options as well. Joe Flacco has familiarity. I heard the familiarity thing and my, my instant thought was that it was going to be like Sean Mannion off the Vikings practice squad, or it would be somebody like Dresser Wynn or, or Bryce Perkins ends up being Dresser Wynn. Um, I just think this shows you that they really just didn't do much of any uh, due diligence here. They didn't work anybody out from how it sounds. Nobody worked out. And uh, they were just like, eh, well, we'll bring back the kid that was in camp. Not not good. Professional team just being, eh, I, it's just not a good, doesn't, it, it rubs me the wrong way. I'm sure it rubs you the wrong way. I have a lot of faith in this team. I have a lot of faith in the organization. I give them a lot of credit. But guys, I'm a straight shooter. I'm going to call it like it is because the moment I don't, the moment I stray too far away from what is truly happening, I'm, I'm doing a disservice to you. You're tuning in knowing that you're going to get straight up 100% how I feel. You know I'm not going to beat around the bush and I'm not going to say whatever everyone else is saying. This isn't a channel that regurgitates stuff. It's why we continue to grow. It's why people continue to tune in. I'm not going to sit here and just say what I know that the Rams organization wants me to say. I don't have to, and I, don't, I won't be doing that. So if, if they don't like it, tough. If you guys don't like it, I mean, I hate to break it to you, but these are my thoughts. I don't like this move, um, you know, and, and it has nothing to do with necessarily win. It's just a combination of negligence at the most important position in all of football, the quarterback spot. Your backup is Brett Rippon. I mean, is that even, is he even a backup at this point? I think he's a third string quarterback. I just, not a fan of it. Um, again, think it was really lazy. And then on the other hand, today, to see the 49ers go out and get Chase Young while you just sit on your hands. Again, if you saw my tweets, I don't mind the idea of looking ahead. I don't mind the idea of standing pat. But eventually, at some point, you're going to have to eventually have to do something to block a Niners from going out and getting somebody like that. If they sign Chase Young long term and they figure this whole thing out to be beneficial for their cap, you do not realize the beast you just allowed to be created today. Chase Young is top 10 in quarterback pressures. Nick Bose is top 10 in quarterback pressures. Okay. I, I mean, the rich get richer and... I mean, they might, I still don't think they're going to win the Super Bowl. I don't know why. I just don't have a good feeling about it, but probably because quarterback, but it's still, it, it just, it stinks. Like, so, oh, the Seahawks got Leonard Williams yesterday. The 49ers got Chase Young and the three and five Rams got dresser win. Couldn't even get Carson Wentz. Couldn't even get Joe Flacco. Couldn't even get Matt Ryan. Couldn't even bring in somebody like that. Couldn't even get Bryce Perkins dresser win guy who's never played in the NFL who I would honestly rather see than Brett Rippon at this point but anyway that's my thoughts uh if you disagree I get it 
you know, I'm not trying to be a Debbie Downer because I'm, I don't feel like I am. I feel like I'm just somebody that calls it straight. And I've been very, very, very favorable towards the Rams saying, OK, this thing can get going. They can do this. I get a lot of flack either way. But today, let's not forget something. I'm going to point this out, by the way. Tyson Bajant was an undrafted rookie free agent, and the Rams chose not to bring him in. They chose to bring in Dresser Wynn. Now, I don't know if, if Bajant chose the, the Bears over the Rams, but I don't know how you don't at least consider that. And, I mean, I could go on. I'm not going to, but I could. Um, quarterback position, newsflash is important, and the Rams basically told us today by signing Dresser Wynn that either one, Matthew Stafford, is going to play this weekend, and we shouldn't worry. This is just a depth move, if anything. Or two... If Matthew Stafford doesn't play, this team genuinely does not care about finding a quarterback that can win football games because they're just going to just ride the wave with Matthew Stafford, and that's that's how it's going to be. That's what this move signals. It's either A, they feel that certain that Matthew Stafford will be ready to go this weekend, or B, they don't care. There's probably somewhere in between is probably the truth. I'm not saying they don't care at all, but you can't tell me they care a hell of a lot about the quarterback position when your best option in your mind was to go out and hope that John Wolford wants to sign with you off of the Buccaneers practice squad. Or if he doesn't, sign dresser win. And you guys wonder why I feel like the USFL and XFL need to deal with the NFL so badly. When are those guys going to get a shot? I just, I just don't get it. I don't get it, but I do get it. I know there's a lot behind the NFL PA and, you know, quarterbacks, they get, they're on the roster for one day and their, their whole contract's guaranteed. It's why it's actually killing, by the way, the NFL PA by having that is actually killing the opportunity for the older guys to get a shot. So if you're like 28 years old and you can still play football, doesn't matter. Teams don't want to pay you as much as you're going to be worth as opposed to having a younger uh, guy that doesn't cost anywhere near as much. That's what's happening. Um, but again, they don't care enough, I don't think. And uh, that's that. Thank you for letting me rant. I appreciate it. But until next time, guys, I'm Jake Ellenbogen. You can follow me at JK Bogan on all social media. I am also on threads. So if you guys haven't uh, checked me out on threads, I'm going to start posting there a little bit more. I, th I think I just got, um, if I didn't get to 600 followers, I'm getting closer. Um, obviously a lot of more following on Twitter, but I'm trying to branch out a little bit more and, and, you know, do that. And I've had people asking me if I could start using threads. So, alas, uh, threads. So, uh, there you go, guys. Um, you guys take care and I'll, I'll see you guys soon. Later folks. You start playing pick them or weekly fantasy for any sport today. Jake users will receive a hundred percent deposit match up to $100. If they use promo code O T E at sign up, start playing pick them in weekly fantasy football today with underdog fantasy. Do you love talking about the Rams, the NFL, or just want to be a part of a community? Join my free Discord server today. We're over 800 members. We got 24-7 live chat, a level 3 boosted server, the ability to call into JE Live, playing online games with us on kick streams, toggleable alerts for when I go live on YouTube or kick so you don't miss a live stream, and exclusive giveaways. Click the link in the description, the comments section, or the link that comes up in the video to learn more and join today.